with Dar al Kalima College. And I'm the dean of this visual and performing arts college, which is a very new uh, institution. It is a unique educational institution in the Palestinian uh, educational system. It is one of the youngest accredited uh, in institutions in Palestine. We were accredited in 2006. We offer very unique programs that are concentrated on visual and performing arts. And at the moment, we have six programs, and we are in the process of accrediting others. What we teach at the moment is documentary filmmaking. So I'm, you know, usually I'm the test for many of the students. They come into my office when they want to do a small project, and they interview me. Uh, so I'm comfortable with the camera. Um, and we also teach uh, contemporary fine art, uh, jewelry design, glass and ceramic, music performance, and also we teach one program that is very much you would be interested in when you come to visit because it's guiding a guiding uh, program where we train tour guides. Uh, and this is one of the toughest, actually, programs that we have because the Holy Land and the history of Palestine, uh, you cannot do it in two years. Yeah? It's, uh, and we teach our guides to tell you the story through telling you about the art, the culture, the geography, the Bible, the different uh, 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 religions in the uh, area, the political situation, the modern history, the uh, medieval history, the ancient history. So they are uh, our ambassadors for you know, the visiting uh, uh, friends who are coming uh, to uh, Palestine. Because they are living under occupation and they have to understand where the limitations are and also how to, um, how to explain our conditions. And I always say, once you visit, it only can take you one time. Of course, you need open heart and open eyes and open mind. Huh? And not come through Bethlehem, coming into the uh, nativity and leaving. You have to come and meet the people because that's where the wealth is. And that's where the understanding uh, regarding the culture and the beauty <coughs> of uh, the Palestinian uh, heritage and people and the, the story. Huh? And you have to hear it from a Palestinian to really understand what is really going on. And you can see it visually, what is going on in the uh, Palestinian areas. Now, who are our students? Our students are talented, young, and not so young. Uh, they are uh, men and women. And the intention of these programs is not only to humanize our picture, because we're humans. We don't need to prove anything. We want our kids and our adults to start dealing with issues that we need to deal with. So, you know, usually when they come in, the students, we have interviews. We have the luxury of interviewing so far. I mean, we are still small, uh, and we need to know who are our students and how we can influence their lives once they spend some time with us. And we ask them, what makes you sleepless at night? And I, you know, the most, I mean, the most prevalent answer, you know, they think we want to hear that it is occupation. Yeah, okay, we all are sleepless because of occupation. This is a, you know, sleepless in Bethlehem syndrome, hmm? <laughs> sleepless in Palestine syndrome. <laughs> but what is the issue that you want to discuss with your friends or your parents? or your community, or your village. And then they start. They have to, we have to, you know, keep asking, are you worried about the quarries that are surrounding Bethlehem with no uh, envi environmental safety causing the refugee children next door to have asthma? They don't know much about it. 
Are you worried about the decreasing age of marriage amongst young women? Are you worried about the yes people who are being reproduced at universities, at colleges, where people are trained to think in one track and they are not trained to look at the bigger picture? Are you worried about factionalism and how it is not adding to the beauty of our uh, vision? These are the things that we want our students to deal. And we want them to be a mirror to our society where we can have a better, healthier society. Um, the art students, uh, uh, last year we had a beautiful exhibition for the graduating students. And one student did a huge, you know, three women figured uh, uh, work of art. And this work, uh, she set it up in the cave. We have a cave underneath the, uh, uh, the college. And it's three figures of women, one laying on a bed uh, with a mirror, and she's shackled like this, and she's, you know, face down. And the other one is taking a fetal position, but her face is showing. And the third one is sitting, you know, towards the, uh, there is a, it's a cistern actually, towards the hole of the cistern and a light coming and the woman is looking up. And this young woman, she is only 20 years old. She wanted to make a statement about how education and how uh, understanding can take a woman from, she was making a comment on, not all women, she was making a comment about, you know, women in the Arab world, women in our uh, society, and how there is a way out. Huh? And she, that's how she, and it created lots of um, uh, uh, discussions. And you know, we had some, um, some uh, people, older people, who were a little bit religious, and they would come in and see these naked figures of women, and they would, I mean, one woman tried to cover uh, uh, the figure. And then, you know, that young woman, uncovered it and sat and talked to her. Because this is how you create uh, awareness. This is how, and this is coming from young people and they are with us for two years. I remember when this young woman came uh, to enter the college and you know, we asked them, bring a piece of work. If you are an artist, bring something so that we know how to judge if you are an artist or not. I mean, and she brought the gaudiest thing that you could ever imagine. I mean, the, this, you know, Mirror, I mean, she's, she's in love with mirrors. I'm, I'm sure there is a good reason for it, but. And it had candles and it had, you know, this uh, red stuff on it. I still remember because the transformation that has taken place was beyond even our imagination. And how we do it, we do it by telling them the thinking for you the sky is the limit. There is no limit on the thinking process. When they go out, we have planted the seed of a wider vision of an understanding that they have a mission. And their mission is to make life and make it abundant. 